hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a long while but we're back and better now i hope you guys missed me a little bit so in this video i'm going to be decorating this nine inch cake with whipped cream um so the cakes are frozen so they are quite easy to decorate without chrome coating if you've checked my previous videos you'll see a video where i chrome coated the cake before i frosted it so here i've done um the top and then i'm just doing the sides one thing that um fr freezing your cakes will do is just to make sure that there are no crumbs at all your cre your cakes will have been totally frozen so you wouldn't have to deal with all of the crumbs so you can frost directly instead of crumb coating first so i'm trying to cover up all of the sides using my spatula you can see i'm not dipping my spatula back into the bowl and because my cakes are frozen i don't have any issues with crumbs or anything so i'm basically just repeating the process getting more cream my whipped cream and then using it to cover the sides of the cake so now i'm done with i'm just filling up the sides and i'm going to use my scraper you can use any scraper of your choice depending on the design you are doing but my, i'm actually uh, making a smooth side i want to do the watercolor effect so i get my scraper and then i smoothen all of the sides once that is done we move to the top you can see the top is rough we are trying to get a very very sharp edge and here is the trick i also use the spatula um, I can use the spatula to get the sharp edge or I use the scraper like I'm doing here. So what you just need to do is take your scraper or your spatula and then use the edge to just drag your excess um, frosting onto the center. So you can see, I repeat the process and then we'll have a very, very sharp edge. Look at my edges popping already. So I repeat this process until I get all of the excesses away from the cake. So I'm trying to pull it to the center. You can see, dragging it to the center. Not with full force. Just You're just taking out all of the excesses. You are not dragging the one already on the top of the cake. You can see we have that. And to just give it a fine finish, I'm going to use my scraper to just... Um, go round over the cake avoiding all of the edges you're going to see it, see that right now look at that so i'm just going to go all around avoiding the edges look at that even though you can have a little hiccup you can fix that if you are still not satisfied with the result you can go over the process a little bit one more time or two more time until you are satisfied with the outcome I like to get if i'm doing a sharp edge i like to get my edges super sharp so that the results would be great now we're done with that i've already chilled this cake a bit in the fridge so i have a very firm um frosting now we're going to go over the watercolor effect so what you just need to do is that now your cake is a bit chilled so the frosting is set a bit you get a um an offset spatula that's the one that has the curved um, base. And then you just take a little bit of frosting, your whipped cream or buttercream, any, depending on whatever you are using. And just put a little bit on the body of the cake and move over it. Because your cake is already um, set, it's chilled, you are not going to have so much um, force all around. Everything will just go smoothly. So you just need a little bit of frosting whipped cream or buttercream i'm using whipped cream here like i mentioned and just go over your cake wherever you want it to be depending on the shade of color you want i'm using two tones of blue navy blue and a very very light blue so it's going to pop out can you see that so you just repeat the process however you want and your design is out there popping <laughs> Another thing I did to this cake was do the palette knife painting. So I'm just using my um, palette knife, the very, very small one. Take a little bit of frosting and just do a little bit of petal. So I carefully place my knife on the cake. Remember that your cake is set. It's been chilled and it's set. So I'm not going to be damaging or punching the cake. Just take a little bit of icing and then 
carefully place it on the cake. And that's it. I'll repeat this process again and you will see. The palette knife technique is a very very easy one to do, just requires a little bit of technicality. If you would love me to share a video about palette knife painting or whipped cream and buttercream, let me know. So I'm done with um, palette knife painting now and we'll move to the next one. It's just to add a little bit of accent here and there. I already used edible gold leaves and gold dust all over the cake and I'm going to be using rice paper seals. If you don't know how to make rice paper seals, please scroll down to my page. You'll find a video where I shared how to make rice paper seals. I sprayed these with edible gold dust as well and I'm going to just insert them into the cake with my customized stopper. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Kindly leave a comment as well. See you in my next video. Bye.